Yacht World is the Juice and Lil Yachty collab tape that they were working on. Uh, I don't know if it ever got finished officially. There is tons of Yachty and Juice tracks, so I definitely could have. And yeah, this was supposed to be Juice and Yachty's collab album. I've made one of these videos for Juice and Thug, Juice and Ski, uh, Evil Twins, and Slime World, and a lot of people asked me to make one for this. A reason why I held off for a while was just because a lot more news and just other stuff with other rappers, including Juice as well, started coming up and stuff, so there was really no point for me to make another video like this, and I think these videos are just a little repetitive. Not necessarily my What Happened videos, but the videos where I'm specifically talking about like a collab tape or something, they just kind of seem repetitive because it's kind of the same answer at the very end. Well, while we might not find out for sure what happened, it is kind of fun just to like look into the tracks that would have been on it, the artwork, the name, and just all that stuff. So with all this being said, let's just get into it. So Juice and Yachty were working on a tape called Yacht World, and there is some kind of like leaked track list. There is nothing like confirming if this artwork is real, if this track list is real. I've actually talked to Kid Light. He doesn't actually think that this track list is real just because it's just every single Juice and Yachty song thrown together onto like uh, a collab tape, which obviously they did that with Future and we don't know what they were going to do with like Evil Twins. I guess Scheme said they didn't even end up finishing that, so maybe Juice and Ski didn't even know what they were fully going to do with that yet. And we also don't know what Juice and Thug's album is going to look like. We know they have tons of songs rec recorded together, but we don't know like what the tracklist and stuff would have been for that tape. Well, kind of getting into the tracklist for Yacht World, it was at least this version that we have, and keep in mind that these are all just like any song with Juice and Yachty and then someone else on it was on here. Now I'm not saying that none of these songs were on here, and I'm not saying that all these songs were on the tape. I'm just saying that we don't know for sure if this is confirmed or not. We do know that the name was Yacht World, but we don't know if this was the artwork or the tracklist. Alright, so getting that out of the way, the tracklist for this at least is Knuck a Few Buck, Boomerang, Stumbling, Trifling, Oreo, Takeover, Osama, Airport Security, Confused, Hot Ham, Feline, You Can't Tell Me, For The Team, and All Girls Are The Same, the remix. And I honestly don't think this is a bad tracklist. I actually like a lot of the songs on here. I like Stumbling, Boomerang, I like Yachty's remix on All Girls Are The Same, I like Yachty on Feline, uh, and For The Team is a good song. This isn't even a bad album at all in my opinion. And I would not have been upset if they would have released it. Yachty's definitely not one of my favorite if you're comparing him to like Ski and Thug. I would have rather had Slime World above everything and then probably Evil Twins and then this. And then I guess if you count Trippy and Juice, I might put that above Yachty and Juice just because I'm not a huge Yachty fan. I still like Yachty, it's just I'm not a huge fan of his sound. But anyway, something I did want to kind of point out was back before Yachty released his Lil Boat 3 Deluxe, uh, Osama was actually a rumored track to be on there. It didn't end up dropping, but if it would have, it kind of would have either one debunked that this al album or track list was fake because why would uh, Yachty take one of the songs off the album and drop it on his deluxe? Or two, it would have confirmed that we would officially never get this collab tape because Yachty took that track and released it on Lil Boat 3 Deluxe. But it didn't end up releasing, so it just kind of keeps this track list, I guess, looking more and more real if you want to support it. But yeah, I'm under the impression that at least the way it's structured and the artwork and stuff, it's not officially real. I don't even know if Juice and Yachty even got to the point where they were getting an artwork and structuring the track list and stuff. They might have just honestly been making songs for it. We don't know how far they got to it. And I don't know why collab tapes like this aren't getting finished. It might just be because Juice and Yachty and then like Juice Thug, Juice Ski. It might just be because obviously they were all touring. They all had their own things going on. They all had to work on their own projects as well so it might have just have been a lot and they just didn't fully have time to keep working on it if you ask me from the research we've done from these and everything we've done looking at this stuff it seems like the one that was closest to coming out after the juice and future one was going to be juice and thug because it sounded like thug was planning on releasing it very soon uh, like in december or january or just early 2020 which obviously that didn't end up happening but it sounded like that that is what Thug and Juice were planning on when Thug did his interview that I talked about in my Slime World video. I'm not saying that the Trippy Juice, the Ski and Juice, and the Yachty and Juice ones weren't going to come out. We just don't know at all how far they were with any of these projects. Something I think I mentioned in one of my older What Happened videos to one of these tapes. I'm not sure if I did. I think that this theory could have some substance behind it. Maybe Juice's idea was, or what he wanted to do, was to drop one solo tape and then a collab project. Because we got Goodbye and Good Riddance, and then we got World on Drugs. And then we got Death Thirst to Love, and then at late 2019, Doug was talking about releasing the project with Juice, like in 
early 2020. So if Bad Boy would have ended up dropping when it was supposed to around Juice's birthday or just sometime in December, and then we would have got the Slime World tape sometime in like January or February, and then later down the line, maybe later down 2020 or 2021, we would have got Outsiders. Now, this is not confirmed whatsoever, and Thug has kind of been proven to not always have the most accurate news. When he was talking about Sign Language 2 dropping, he was giving us like random dates, like either before Christmas or on Christmas or before New Year or after New Year. Well, we're officially, at least at the time you guys have seen this video and the time I'm making it, we're past Christmas, we're past New Year. We're not a week after New Year fully yet, but we're just about there. So yeah, I'm not saying Thug wasn't telling the truth about that, because he could have been, but he also might just have been thinking about what him and Juice were planning on doing, but they didn't have anything clear to the label stuff situated yet. But yeah, at this point in the video, this is kind of where they all just get similar because we don't know why these tapes didn't fully come out. It could just be because Juice passed away and the other rapper's not going to release it now. We don't fully know. We'll probably never know. I don't know if any of these rappers are going to talk about these collab tapes unless they get directly asked by an interviewer or a fan that they end up responding to asking what happened to this. But that's all for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We're getting so close to 10,000 subscribers, so if you guys are new here, please subscribe. Also, guys, I want to shout out my second channel. Thank you for the support over there. It's already at over 250 subscribers. I uploaded a video about Dro Kenji, Holiday, Playboy Cardi. It's doing pretty good over there on the second channel, so if you guys want to check that out, you can. A link to that channel is in the description down below. Also, guys, I do have an Instagram. That's Complex Productions 999 a Twitter, at Complex Discuss, and a SoundCloud where I make a new playlist every single month of songs that I'm listening to. And then you guys can send me your songs on DMs or anything like that. When I get the time to, I'll listen to it. And if I like it, I'll repost it in my fan's music on SoundCloud. But yeah, that's all for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.